An actress is suing Harvey Weinstein after she claims he masturbated in front of her and raped her. The actress claims in the lawsuit acquired by the Daily News that Weinstein, whom she met in 2011, arranged a meeting at the Montage Hotel in Beverly Hills in 2015 to talk about a role on Jane Doe then claims the movie producer held her wrists with one hand and masturbated with the other. A year later, the actress claims she met Weinstein again at the hotel to celebrate her upcoming role in Marco Polo according to the lawsuit. Once there, Weinstein allegedly left the room and came back in a bathrobe of detail that multiple accusers have claimed. The actress claims that Weinstein pulled her jeans down and began performing oral sex on her, at which point she tried to push him off. She then said that he used his massive weight and strength to penetrate her without a condom. The actress said in the suit that she was never offered a job on Marco Polo. The lawsuit also claims that the Weinstein company, Knew about allegations against him. DOE is suing for compensatory damages and money judgment for mental pain and anguish and severe emotional distress. More than 100 women have accused Weinstein of sexual harassment or assault, including Ashley Judd, Rose McGowan, and Angelina Jolie. He is currently under investigation by NYPD, LAPD. Scotland Yard and the Beverly Hills Police. Meanwhile, actress Paz de la Huerta's lawyers have reached a deal with prosecutors over the use of recordings she made with her therapist after an alleged attack at the hands of Weinstein. The matter was resolved amicably today. OU our client continues to work cooperatively with law enforcement in what we hope will result in the expedient arrest of a dangerous sexual predator, the actress's attorney told the Daily News. Lawyers were due in court Wednesday to fight the request. I in an attempt to squash stories, Weinstein reportedly hired Israeli intelligence agency Black Cube to get dirt on alleged victims' personal and sexual histories, according to The New Yorker.